Yeah, so Stacks 2.1 is a really exciting upgrade, especially for builders. It focuses on building better connections into Bitcoin. Um, that includes things like uh, better writing in with Taproot, um, better bridges, more functionality, better UX for any people who are holding Stacks or building with Stacks. And then I think one of the things we've heard a lot of Stacks holders excited about is just continuous stacking. So if you're already a stacker, you're already earning maybe a 9% annual yield in Bitcoin for locking in your stacks. But you often have these cool down periods where you kind of have to wait a cycle, you miss those rewards. So with continuous stacking, this will be a better experience and also just mean more APY for your Bitcoin. Um, so we're really excited to see how builders use that and then also how stackers get excited about that additional yield. I think I think Brittany mentioned uh, continuous stacking. That's obviously a pretty, pretty big feature that everyone was uh, asking about because it makes stacking more programmable because now uh, people can control when they're locking, unlocking capital more clearly. And there isn't this like cool down period uh, that they have to worry about. So a lot of builders were actually really asking uh, for that functionality. And I think there's, there's also another update, like most people probably don't even know about this, but there was actually uh, like there was a security corner case that people were worried about people before the mainnet launch due to which there was actually a sunset period. Like we are always very concerned about safety uh, first. And now stacking has uh, kind of like proven out in the market and in the real world, world setting enough that that sunset period is being removed, meaning that stacking is here, uh, it's, it's working, and, it, and there are many other improvements that are kind of like baked into the improved contract uh, for POX that, that's kind of like going live. Uh, Brittany also mentioned like taproot support. I think that that's great. So other than SegWit, we'll have taproot support as well, which actually unlocks uh, program functionality on the Bitcoin side. So Stacks, the Bitcoin layer is all about the interaction of the main layer and, and, and main chain and, and the Bitcoin layer. So if Stacks supports taproot and people want to actually write sophisticated scripts in taproot and publish that on the main chain, that unlocks a lot of functionality. Uh, there, are, there are a host of features that are going live. A lot of them are like, very developer focused. So there are certain things that the developers want to do. Let's say they wanted to query Bitcoin blocks or other types of information from the Bitcoin chain. I think those types of things are going live with 2.1 as well. So I think people should think of that as like, it's actually a combination of a lot of hard work that happened over the last 12 to, to 16 months. And, and a lot of uh, those goodies are packaged in Stacks 2.1 along with the, with the major things that we discussed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one thing I just wanted to add to that is that all of these improvements have come from the community requests, you know, for different functionality, improvements in UX, um, you know, the vote to say, we want stacking you to stay, we don't want to sunset it. So this is part of our SIPs process. Um, this is open to everyone in the community. Everyone has an opportunity to write a proposal of things you would like to see changed, as well as vote on this upcoming proposal. So none of these updates go live without voting, without the community. So we'd love to have you guys more involved, um, if, whether you're a stacker or you're just getting involved. Um, that's how these improvements get made. And that's why what you heard from Aneeb, these are all things that developers have been wanting or stacks holders have wanted. It's because that's the way these upgrades happen. Yeah, and I think I should, I should add one more thing that a lot of people are obviously uh, looking at the network performance and how many transactions are happening and what are the scalability things. So 2.1 sort of helps with that as well in the sense that there, there is like new clarity features that are going live. People can write more optimized smart contracts that, that can actually, you can package more information in existing blocks. So just like you've seen some improvements to the, uh, how much transactions are getting packed on existing blocks, even 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 with the recent up, upgrades that happen. 2.1 also helps there. So we don't have to, it's not like everyone's kind of like waiting for subnets or the next major improvement that happens. A lot of stuff can be done even before that. And 2.1 is going to help move the, move the needle uh, along these dimensions as well. Yeah, 